What if I could teach you how to become a super affiliate, writing hundreds of articles about different Amazon products, grabbing real product pictures and inputting them into the articles, grabbing the actual product data, writing pros and cons lists, giving your readers alternatives, and then hyperlinking to the product page with your affiliate link, and then you make a commission when they make the purchase. I'm really excited about this new feature. Let me show you how to do it. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Head on over to youraiagent.com. You need to enter your name and email address, password, re-enter your password, and then click sign up. It's going to drop you onto the settings page. If you have connected all this up already, you can skip ahead in the video. But for all the new users, we're going to be writing affiliate product review articles. So you're going to need to connect your website. And this will work if you have a blogger website, a medium.com profile, a Shopify store, a Webflow website, or WordPress.com and WordPress.org. For this video, I'm going to connect my WordPress.org website. So let's click on this. Now we need to name our WordPress.org integration. And I'm going to call it my website name, which is BookGen. Now we need a website URL. And for that, I'm going to go to my WordPress dashboard and grab this portion of the URL. So everything after HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. This website is bookgen.xyz. So let's copy this go back to my integration settings and paste it in. Now we need a username and app password. And for that, you have to go to users, add new user. We're going to enter a username. We need an email address and then scroll down and change the role from subscriber to editor. Then click add new user, then click on that new user. I named it West GPT two. So let's copy this quick, paste it into the username settings. Let's go back, scroll all the way down to the bottom. You're going to add a new application password and then copy that code. All right, paste it into that input box. Click connect. If everything is good, you're going to get a notification that says your WordPress.org website is connected. If you get a notification that says you're not allowed to post as this user, you can try two things. First, you can try using your admin username login and your admin username password. That may work. The other option is reinstalling your .ht access file. Sometimes there is a bug in that file and you're not able to connect with an app password. You don't have to reset the entire site, but reset that file. This happens to about 5% of users who try to connect their WordPress.org website. This is the only solution that I've found for it. Anyways, on a successful connection, you will see it down in your connections list. You can rename your connection or remove it at any point. Next, we need some API keys. So let's click on this tab. We connect with multiple large language models. My favorite is GPT-4 Omni and the new GPT-4 Omni Mini, which is super cheap. So for that, I can click on this hyperlink and then click create new secret key, create secret key, copy this key, and paste it into the input box like so. For image generations, I don't really like using Dolly 3. I actually like using the new Stable Diffusion Ultra. So I'm gonna add my Stable Diffusion API key. Let's click on this hyperlink and then create a secret key, confirm, copy that key, confirm again, and paste it into the input box like so. Both Stable Diffusion and OpenAI work on a pay-as-you-go credit system. So for each of those, you need to purchase credits for your API account. You do that here for Stable Diffusion. $10 gets you roughly 5,000 images. And for OpenAI, you click on Settings, Billing, Add a Valid Payment Method, and then you can add to the credit balance. Next, you're going to click on Subscription. And if you don't have an active subscription, this button will say Subscribe. I do, so it says Go to Portal. It will take you to a secured Stripe checkout page. Your AIagent.com is $9 per month, and that includes unlimited product review affiliate articles, unlimited workflows, unlimited usage. So if you're an agency, you can connect multiple websites to this and run it all under one basic plan. I'm trying to make your AI agent the cheapest AI agent platform on the internet. 
Okay, that's all the housekeeping. Now for the new agent, I'm calling it Super Affiliate. So you write affiliate product reviews for the most popular items on Amazon. Let's click on this agent. First, you need to select your connection. By default, your latest connection is shown first. That's the BookGen website. And now we can read about this super affiliate agent. So create hundreds of SEO optimized Amazon product reviews with your associate ID in just a few simple steps. Input your desired search queries or ASINs separated by a comma and click generate reviews. Each article takes approximately two minutes to write and will be produced at your chosen interval. All metadata and images are generated automatically. I'm going to click read more. Text model GPT-4 Omni works best. It's the one I have tested the most with. Shorter agent and image prompts will produce the best results. We handle proper formatting in the background, so no need to include this in the prompt. Most of the websites that we connect to use a simple HTML formatting. I handle that in the prompts. Your agent will use the actual product details, feature bullets, and full description. So this is really cool. We get exact product information when we're writing the review articles. So it's almost like we're writing it ourselves. Two images will be pulled from the target Amazon product page and used in your articles. One of the images is generated by AI, and that's the leading or headline image. But the rest of the images you see in the article are actual product images. And then your Amazon associate ID or tag is automatically appended to the end of all hyperlinks. So that when a reader clicks on the hyperlink to make a purchase, you get credit for the commission. I hope this all sounds pretty cool so far. Now we need to select our settings and we can get this running. So first our text model, I'm going to keep it on GPT-4 Omni. Now for the image model, I want to choose Stable Diffusion Ultra. The language is going to be English. Next is the posting time. How often do we want this agent to post? I want it to post a new article every 24 hours. You can also toggle random and that will randomly publish a new article every one to 24 hours. Do you want your articles to be published or sent to draft? I want them to be published right away. For the agent prompt, remember we want to keep it short. I'm going to write, you are a book selling website called BookGen. Be funny. I like a bit of comedy in my articles. And for the image prompt, I'm going to write something short like digital illustration. That will get the style of images that I'm looking for. Next, we need to input our search queries or ASINs. So for the search queries, it's like we are searching for a product on Amazon. So if I type in bookshelf, that is the search query. And all the results that show up are the products that we can write a review article for. So if I type in bookshelf here, the AI agent is going to search bookshelf on Amazon. You can tell that these search queries will get products that maybe you don't quite know about or want to recommend to your readers. However, I find that Amazon organizes their search results. If you ignore the ads, the next results are usually the highest rated ones. You'll see those Amazon bestseller tags or the ones that are included with Prime. So it actually does a pretty good job at showing you the best results first. But if you want more control, Let's say we like this tree bookshelf product. I can click into this, grab the ASIN, which is this value right after DP. So I can copy this and I can change this to ASIN. We'll remove this keyword and input this one. So now it'll write an article about this exact product. So I can input a list of these products. Let's say I do the research myself. I'm scrolling all the way down. Oh, I like this bookshelf. We'll grab this value, paste it in, and I can do this multiple times. So the choice is yours. For this example, I am going to just write bookshelf. Let's go book marker. Let's go best books. I'm curious what I'm gonna get for this one. Maybe notepad. A bunch of products that are related to my business website. Then we have to select our country. And this is usually twofold. 
One, where is your Amazon associate account registered in? If you get approved for an Amazon.ca associate account, you might not get affiliate income from Amazon.com links. So you have to be careful with this. I'm gonna choose Amazon.com. Now we need our tracking ID. To get that, I like going to Amazon.com and first searching for a product. Let's go back to bookshelf. I'm gonna click on this product. You'll see this Amazon associate header bar at the top of the page. You get your tracking ID by clicking on this link right here. So it says text. I'm not gonna click on it because it's gonna show my actual Amazon associate tracking ID. And I don't wanna display that to everybody. But if you click on this, you'll see the tracking ID. And it usually looks something like this. West GPT 0420. I think that's when you initially signed up and then the username you have chosen. So input that right here. Next, we have the option for other hyperlinks. This will actually replace text in your articles with hyperlinks. You do not need this, this is optional. And the example I give is, if the key phrase AI agents was shown in the article, I could hyperlink that back to my website, youraiagent.com, and it would look something like this. This is completely different than the affiliate links that will show throughout the product review article. This is just for extra hyperlinks. And then the last section is categories and tags. This is pulled from your WordPress website. I made a couple example ones. So let's say foodie will go love and we also pull your tags. So I made a test one that says bags, but of course you would have ones that are exactly related to your website. And then when that's all done, you can click generate reviews. It will drop you onto the workflows page. You can cancel this workflow at any point, see your interval. Remember, I'm posting one every 24 hours. The type is super affiliate. I can rename this workflow for internal purposes. I can also click on the edit button, change any of the settings of the workflow. Let's say I want to change the posting interval to every six hours. I could do it like so. Here's the agent prompt, the image prompt. Here are all of my search queries. I could copy that for new workflows. I could change my Amazon tracking ID, add some hyperlinks, change the categories and tags. At the bottom here, I can see the upcoming post. It's gonna be August 5th at 228. That is 24 hours from now. I can also see if there are any error logs associated with the workflow, but it says all systems operational. I also have a workflow ID for customer support. This helps me diagnose any issues that you can't solve yourself. And I also have this link that says view past article data. So I'm going to click on this and I can see the search query, the title of the product review article and a link to the article URL. So we click on that. We got a stable diffusion ultra image of a bookshelf. And here's a nice introduction. We got a hyperlink. Here's the actual product shown on the page. You'll see it uses actual product details from the Amazon page. Here are some pros and cons alternatives, and if you click into the hyperlink, you'll see in the full URL that it has your Amazon associate tracking ID. One last thing, in order to use this AI agent, you need to input your scraper API key. If you don't have this API key tied to your account, this tab will show on the super affiliate page. This is how we get the exact product details from Amazon. It gets the full description, feature bullets, and any product images. You get your API key by going to this hyperlink, and then it is right here. So copy this key, paste it in. It will remove that tab. Say your scraper API key has been added. You can also go to the settings page, click on API keys, scroll down, and input it here. The cool thing about scraper API is that it's completely free it gives you 5,000 API credits, which appears to reset every week. It only costs us 10 to 15 API credits per article written, and that's searching Amazon, getting the ASIN, grabbing the product details. So it's unbelievably affordable. And for 99% of use cases, you can write all of your articles for free but they do have upgrade options if it gets to that point. And I'm really excited about this platform because I think we can do a bunch of other cool stuff with it as well. Stay tuned for those updates. If you wanna become a super affiliate for yourself, 
I'll leave a link to your AI agent in the description below. If you want to learn how to build your own apps like your AI agent, I built this completely with Bubble. I've designed an online course called How to Build a Custom AI App. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both have been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Peace.